we, we tap into alcohol because we want a transcendent experience. We go after drugs. We have crazy workout regimens. Some of us are obsessed with eating. Some of us are obsessed with, it's meditation, it's spiritual. We're all looking for an experience. We all want something that transcends the world that we live in, the garbage that we see. And what Jesus is gonna say is when he starts talking about pray and he starts, he's gonna teach them how to pray the Lord's prayer, what he's doing is prayer is the way that you and I are gonna experience the infinite. It's the way you and I, we're all seeking after joy. We're all seeking after pleasure. We're all seeking after, how do we get joy? How do we, uh, how, how many of us, I mean, don't raise your hand because I don't want anyone to judge you, but how many of us are totally stressed? We're all stressed out. We're all going to counselors. We're all on pills. We're all, we're all freaking out. And Jesus is about to teach about anxiety in a little bit. And he's about to go, anxiety is not just a cute thing, it's actually a sin. Because in that moment of anxiety, you're not trusting that God is in control. You still think you're in control. He's about to say, you know what the secret is to all this experience you're seeking, all this transcendent, all this stuff you want. You know what the key is? Prayer. Prayer is the place where you're going to enter into the pleasure. You're going to enter into the satisfaction. You're going to start to, your anxiety is going to start to drift from you. You're going to start to see your identity shift. Prayer is the place. And yet, isn't it a battleground? Because you and I, it is an extremely, look, the greatest things in life are the hardest things in life. And Martin uh, Lloyd-Jones, I uh, was reading this week, and he says, you know where the pinnacle of humankind is? The pinnacle picture of humankind is mankind on his knees praying in worship. That is the greatest point of our life. Ergo, it is the hardest, man. It is a battleground. We're busy. It's difficult to be with God, praying with God, because I think we may be doing it, oftentimes we're doing it wrong. And that's why Jesus goes, let me teach you, which is fascinating, because basically, Basically, what he's saying is you don't know how to do it, so you have to be taught it. The greatest things in life are a lot of hard work. And some of you drift through prayer. You think it's going to just come natural. Jesus goes, it's not going to come natural. You ever been married? Marriage is such a beautiful, great thing. Is it natural to do marriage well? No. Is it natural to be able to connect with your spouse, to be able to love her and serve her and communicate and be able to be on the same page and have a plan and do money well and do, you have to be intentional. You have to be focused. Man, I, over, over the last, listen, it took me a lot of years to figure out when my wife's mad at me, uh, just stop talking. Because when I'm talking, I'm giving her more material to use against me every sentence. I just dig deeper and dig deeper because if my tone ain't right, it's like, so what'd you mean by that? It's like, <laughs> so I've learned to just shut up. All right, she gets mad, I just let her go, and I go, mm hmm <sighs> sorry. <laughs> because, see, now I'm learning. So it took me 15 years to figure that out. I'm learning. We got to learn how to pray. Isn't that a crazy idea? That we don't actually know naturally how to connect with the God of the universe, so we actually need to be taught this stuff.